Born in 1820 in a humble Brahmin family, Dalpatram grew up to the resonant chanting of mantras and recitations of religious scriptures. He was a child prodigy and displayed his extraordinary literary skills by composing hondulas at the age of 12. He mastered the structures of rhyme, poesis and vraj bhasha as a Swami Narayan devotee under Brahmanand Swami and later moved to Ahmedabad at the age of 24. Gujarati during those days was at the bottom of language hierarchy. which made dalpatram prefer bridge bhasha for his poems alexander forbes a british civil servant who was posted in ahmedabad in the 19th century became close friend with dalpatram and learned gujarati from him his concern for the upliftment of gujarati literature was the inspiration behind dalpatram's contribution to gujarati language His career spanned 6 books and 25 awards including drama, poems, songs and essays. He was a progressive thinker and advocated the upliftment of oppressed classes and women empowerment. At the end of 19th century, he was entitled Mahakavi or the Great Poet by Shahjanand Swami, the founder of the Swami Narayan Sampraday. In tribute to his work, Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation and the citizens of Ahmedabad proposed a memorial at the site of his house. With very few references and photographs available, it was really difficult to recreate the house. References were then taken from the memories of residents and the architectural design of surrounding houses to create a memorial in the form of facade of the house and statue of Kavi Dalpatram. in the year 2001 henceforth the memorial became a part of heritage walk of ahmedabad the design of the statue was intensely debated before they came up with the idea of sitting posture of kavi with a book in his lap so when we were designing this statue we had lots of confusion how we designed the statue like big gigantic loaf or half portion like memorial then we decided that dada will sit The statue is made of bronze and weighs 120 kilograms. The children call Kavi Dalpatram as Dada or Grandfather with love and have deep emotions attached to his statue. Uh, in left, children come here for the play and sometimes they sit also in Dada's lap. They play holy with Dada. They hug Dada. They kiss Dada. You can see one shoe is empty. So always, uh, children they have habit they put their feet in elder shoes. So children when they come here, they sit here, they put their feet here. So still there is active culture. The platform behind the statue displays the plan of original house. The yellow stone on the floor indicates the walls. Grey stone indicates the rooms, and the black stone represents the open courtyard. The staircase is also marked with yellow stone. The memorial also serves as a platform for community gatherings. The heritage department has taken up the responsibility of maintenance of the memorial. The locality of Kavi Dalpatram Chowk is a typical Ahmedabadi pole, which were a part of old Ahmedabad plan. The pole consists of old houses with different architectural styles. narrow streets community wells and the chabutras or the bird feeders heritage walk has played an important role in changing the mindset of people regarding maintenance of their houses 200 300 saal purana bahut sare buildings hai lekin maintenance nahi maintain nahi ho raha hai because maintenance bahut expensive hai so aur nahi aayega nahi koi aayenge baad se guest aayenge अच्छा नहीं लगेगा लोग लोग देखेंगे तो क्या बोलेंगे क्या इंप्रेशन लेके जाएंगे वो लोग तो क्लीन रखने लगे द रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ दीस पोल्स आर डीपली अटैच्ड टू द नेक ऑफ द वर्ड्स लगड़ी है सोने का लगड़ी वो तो बाहर से बोले 10 5 का करोड़ का मंगला होगा तो इसके लायक नहीं ये पुराना और वाइब्रेशन वाला सब्जेक्ट है शांति मिलती है पूरा दल, दल जैसा बड़ा बड़ा सब रहते 
Years have passed, but the poems of Mahakavi still resonate in the hearts of people, inspiring them to move ahead in life, bringing peace to disturbed minds and questioning the social structure and system. Dada's poems also aim to teach moral values to the children through rich imagery and simple language. Kavi Dalpat Ram's voice was the voice of the people, of their dreams and conscience, soft but firm, simple yet rich.